Hi kids, this is Lindsay again. Uh, we're going to do book three. Uh, everybody take out your vocabulary list and your Our World. Uh, you don't need a writing book today, but you need a pencil. We're going to write some of the sentences from book three. So if you have already written them, great. You can check your answers. If you haven't written them, then we can write them together so you don't make any mistakes. So you need a pencil, book three, vocabulary list. I always say take out your vocabulary list and you don't do it. I know some of you do it, but the ones who don't have the vocabulary list in front of them, please take out the vocabulary list. I say the same thing every day. All right. We're going to look at page 136, 136. So, open your Our World. Let's look at it. We'll study it together. So, page 136. It's pretty easy. At the top, did you watch the parade? Yes, we watched the parade. I want to hear the T. Watched. Did you like the music? Yes, we liked it a lot. Now, I'm giving you time to say this after me. If I go too fast, just stop the video and go back. Look at the vocabulary that we can choose from on page 136. Dress up. Dress up goes together. Dress up means to wear a costume. It can also mean to put on your good clothes. So, <clears throat> if you're going to your friend's wedding, you want to dress up. That means to wear your best clothes. Maybe you don't like to dress up because maybe it's not comfortable. But dress up can also mean wear a costume. So, are you going to dress up for the Halloween party? Yes, I'm going to dress up for the Halloween party. But maybe you're going to your grandfather's birthday party. Everybody has to dress up. That means you wear your best clothes. Don't go to your grandfather's birthday party and wear a ghost costume. He won't like it, okay? He'll be very angry, all right, all right. Next one, like, listen, play, watch. So let's read number one. I, let's see. I know you want to say war or where, but in this sentence, they want you to use dressed up. And when you use the past tense, D-R-E-S-S-E-D, -E -S -S -E I dressed up in my favorite costume. I was a superhero. So number one, I dressed up in my favorite costume. I was a superhero. Maybe Sam wore the princess costume. Maybe Charlie wore, I don't know, the Wonder Woman costume. I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know, Mike wore the super monkey costume. So your favorite superhero. Number two, the parade was great. We listened to music from many bathrooms. No, no, no. From many countries. So, listen to it again. Listened means I-D. Uh, I-E-D. No, no, no. means E-D. Listened. D -d -d -d. Listened. We listened to music from many countries. Look at the word countries. C-O-U-N-T-R-I-E-S. So, the Y becomes I-E-S. We listened to music from many countries. You know, every country has their own music. Taiwan has their own music. America has their own music. But some countries have old music they listened to a long time ago. So different music from different countries. Number three, I ate all the food. No, I liked the food, L-I-K-E-D. When you say like, E-D, you need to say liked. I liked the food and the dancing. It was fun. 
I think they mean the dancing was fun. I don't know, was the food fun? Maybe, maybe they tried some strange new food, like spider legs, or, I don't know, uh, tiger tail hot dogs. I don't know, they tried something fun. Ooh, these the spider tails are so fun. Oh, sorry, Sp spiders don't have tails. Spider legs are so fun, mm, so yummy. But anyway, I liked the food and the dancing. It was fun. Number four, after dinner, all the children played in the bathroom? Probably not. All the children played games. P-L-A-Y-E-D. Did they study? No. Did they work hard? No. Did they clean the house? No. They played games. <laughs> Number five. Number five. At night, we ate the fireworks. No, 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 that's not right. Nobody eats fireworks. Okay, maybe Ryan eats fireworks, but not us, okay? At night, we, let me look, watched the fireworks. Can we say saw the fireworks? Maybe, but the reason we use watched is because the fireworks are moving. So if something is moving, we say watched. Maybe your friends are playing basketball. You watched your friends playing basketball. So because it's moving, we say watched. So number five, at night, we watched the fireworks. They were incredible. Say it, incredible. Incredible means really good, amazing, great, incredible. Okay, good. All right, look at page 137. I'm going to help you with page 137, but I don't want to do it slowly. So I'll read an answer for 137. You write the sentence, but if I go too fast, stop the video. Stop, you know, stop the video. Stop, 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 stop the video. So if I read the sentence and you don't have time to finish it, stop the video. And then start again. Don't forget to start again, okay? All right, at the top, number one, we're going to think of a celebration. We're going to use past tense. And we're going to use these words at the top in past tense. For example, celebrate becomes celebrated. Celebrated. Dance becomes danced with a T. Danced. Number three, liked. Number four, listened. Listened is different. It has a D sound. Played D sound. But watch has a T sound. Watched. So we have six sentences, six vocabulary words, and we have to talk about celebration. So number one, let's write a sentence with celebrate. Now listen, if you already did this, you can check your answers, but maybe you can write my sentence on top of your sentence. Then you know that you have one sentence that's right. So let's look at number one, celebrate it. I like this. <clears throat> I celebrated my birthday in Burger King. When you write Burger King, big B, big K. Sometimes kids have birthday parties in a fast food restaurant. Maybe McDonald's, maybe Moss Burger, I don't know, Pizza Hut. But I know you can spell Burger King, B-U-R-G-E-R, -E big B, big K. So number one, I celebrated my birthday in Burger King. You know, they take a big table and put 20 french fries, bags of french fries, and all the kids jump on the table and they put french fries in their noses like that, okay? Number two, danced. We can always say something like, I danced with my sister. No, I'm not so boring. I'm going to write something like, let me think. Um, oh, I know. Um, let's say whose name we can use. Let's use, um, 
no, don't use his name. He'll start crying. We can use, oh, no, no, I know. Sam. Sam's okay. Sam will just laugh. Sam danced with the prettiest girl at the party. Prettiest, P-R-E-T-T-I-E-S-T. -T -E so write that sentence. Sam danced with the prettiest girl at the party. So I want you to write that. If you don't have time, stop it. So number one, I celebrated my birthday at Burger King. If you have, if you need time to write it, stop the video. Number two, <clears throat> Sam danced with the prettiest girl at the party. Now, if you want to change the name, that's okay. I don't care. Charlie danced with the prettiest girl at the party. Lindsay danced with the ugliest girl at the party. Hey. Number three. Number three is light. Mm. We're going to talk about celebrated. And we're going to talk about something you liked. In this sentence, I want to talk about something you ate. So, I really liked the food at the party. I really liked the food at the party. You know, when you have a party, you always have food. Parties always have a lot of food. And when you celebrate, food is very important. So, number three, I liked the food at the party. Number four, listened. Now, of course, we're not going to say, I listened to the rain. We're not going to say, I listened to my mother. No, we're going to make a sentence with celebrations, parties. So when you listened, you always listened to loud music, fun music, interesting music. How about this? We listened to party music. We listened to party music. What's party music? Well, party music is always fun and loud and you can dance. It's exciting. And when you play the party music, everybody wants to have fun. So we listened to party music. And number, f no, 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 number four, number four, uh, one, two, I don't know, number five, play. Now, play is easy. You know the past tense, played. Let's think of a sentence we can write in past tense. Mm, we played video games? No, that's not good. Parties don't have video games. So we play, oh, I know. We played party games. We played party games. You know, party games, everybody can play together and they're very loud. Like maybe you have to guess what somebody's drawing or just fun games, everybody can play together. So write that sentence, we played party games. Party games, two words. And the last one, watched. Celebration. Oh, I know. Remember we talked about fireworks and watched? Well, let's do that. Let's do fireworks again and say, um, in the evening, everybody watched fireworks. Easy. In the evening, comma, everybody. Everybody is one word. Watched fireworks. All right, if I went too fast, you can go back, write the sentences again. I'm going to read them one more time. No, I'm not going to read them. You go back and look at it. Look at the bottom of page 137. Do you play games? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Did I say do or did? Oh no! Did I say will? Am? Is? Can? No. Did. So look at it again. Did you play games at the party? Yes, we played games. It was fun. When they say it was fun, they don't mean the games were fun. If they meant that, they would say they were fun. They meant the party was fun. Yes, we played games. It was fun. What was fun? The party was fun. 
if they want to say games, they would say they were fun. But they didn't say they. They said it. So what are they talking about? Of course, they mean the party was fun. All right. We're going to turn our page and look at page 138. On page 138, there is a present for me. All right. Let's look at the vocabulary words. A present. A birthday cake. Candles. Ouch! Burn my finger. Sorry. An invitation. Balloons. One more time, a present. I, you know, another way to say present is gift. A birthday cake, candles, an invitation, balloons. So let's read the sentences. You write this on paper. You give it to your friends. What would that be? A balloon? No, you don't write balloons on paper. I know, birthday cake. Of course not. What do you write on paper and give to your friends? Love letters. No, that's not a choice. Invitation. But I want you to write an invitation. I gave an invitation to my friend. My friend gave me an invitation to her birthday party. Who did you give an invitation to? I gave an invitation to Danny. I gave... Danny, my birthday party invitation. So number one, invitation. The problem is, when school starts again, I'm going to say the word invitation. And I want you to say, you write this on paper. You uh, give it to your friend. So you need to learn the definition. So number two, it tastes sweet. It usually has candles on top. Of course, the answer is a birthday cake. They are usually round. They have air inside. I know, third grade students' heads have air inside. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't say teacher's heads. I heard you. No, of course, the answer is balloons. So for number three, write balloons. If I go too fast, stop the video. If you already wrote it, it's okay, listen, say after me. Number four, they are long and thin. You put them on a birthday cake. Oh, I know, fingers, uh, noses, no, 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 no. Of course, the answer is candles. On Lindsay's birthday cake, you put 15 candles because Lindsay is 15 years old. Everybody knows. I said 15, not 50. Okay. They are long and thin. You put them on a birthday cake. What are they? Candles. In this sentence, you wrote candles with an S. So don't write a. Uh. Number five. You use colorful paper to wrap it. Wrap. In the last video, we did wrapped past tense. W-R-A-P-P-E-D. But in this video, they're saying to wrap it, so it's not past tense. You use colorful paper to wrap it. You give it to monkeys on their birthdays. What is it? A present. So in this sentence, you need to write a present. T -t a present. So let's do our stickers. So go to the back and look for the stickers for unit what is it? Unit 8? Oh yeah, Unit 8. Number 1. Are you ready? Look at your stickers. If I go too fast, stop the video. Number 1. They have air inside. They have air inside. Number 2. Iris gave one to Ariel. Iris gave one to Ariel. Number three. I got many on my birthday. I got many on my birthday. Be careful with number two. Number two is only one. So the picture is only one. 
But for number three, I said many. So what is many? So I got many on my birthday. Number four, be careful. Don't burn down the house. Be careful. Don't burn down the house. So what could burn down the house? Next one. <clears throat> I hit Charlie's face with a... I hit Lindsay's face with a... What's the answer? I hit... Let me think. I hit Jessica's face with a... What's the answer? Okay, number one. They have air inside. And the answer is Lindsay's head. No, no. The answer is balloons. Number two, Iris gave one to Ariel. The answer is invitation. Do you see the invitation? Number three, I got many on my birthday. The answer is presents. Presents. Next one, don't burn down the house. The answer is candles. You always should be careful with candles. You could burn down the house. And the next one, I hit Lindsay's face with a... It's not ice cream. It's birthday cake. I hit Charlie's face with a birthday cake. Don't do that. Charlie will be really angry. Iris will be angry. Don't do that. I'm just joking. I hit Lindsay's face with a birthday cake. That's okay, because I'll just eat the birthday cake. I don't care. You can throw two things at Lindsay, food and money. I don't care. All right, we're going to look at page 139. On page 139, simple past irregular verbs. Irregular means strange. And when you do irregular verbs, they're not ED. ED verbs are regular verbs. So if I say want and wanted, Want and wanted. ED, want is a regular verb, but go is not because go is went. It's strange, irregular. So let's practice our irregular verbs on page 139. Did you go to the parade? Yes, I went to the parade. Did you see the fireworks? Yes, I saw the fireworks. Fireworks should have an S. Don't forget the S on fireworks. Did you eat cake at the party? Of course I ate cake. No, a piece of cake. No, three pieces of cake at the party. Did you eat cake at the party? Of course. Why do you think I went to the party? I ate a piece of cake. <laughs> I ate three pieces, four, four pieces of cake at the party. I ate one cake at the party. Okay, I ate the birthday cake and ran away. <laughs> We're going to draw the lines. You know this. This is pretty easy. I'll help you. Sing, sang, sing, sang. If I go too fast, stop the video. Sing. Sing, drink, 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 wear, war, wear, war. In the other book, I saw somebody write, wear, wrote. It's not wrote. It's war, W-O-R-E. Wear, war, have, had have had right wrote right wrote give gave give gave take took take took this should be easy for you i think you should know all of those all right at the bottom see the girl is telling the boy to look at something. See, saw. 
I saw lots of lanterns. Your turn. No match for me. Your turn again. So they're playing a board game. So in the board game, she finds C and saw. So they match that and she wins. I don't know. She wins. But he doesn't have a match. See, his book is have and drink and they don't match. Okay? So it's he can't do anything. All right, yay. If you look at page 140, we have already read that. You can read it again. Look at page 141. We have already read that. And we wrote on page 142, we have read the Sapporo Snow Festival. At the bottom, we're going to write something. So take out a pencil. On page 142 at the bottom, listen and fill in the chart. Name. Celebration or festival, what did people see and do? I want you to write Moon Festival. Big M O O N Festival. F E S T I V A L. You should know how to spell it. Moon Festival. Is it a celebration or festival? Well, in the name it tells you it's a festival. So you write festival. Moon Festival. Festival. What did people see and do? Let's say, look at the moon and eat outside. Two things, look at the moon, eat outside. Maybe you can write, eat barbecue, have a barbecue, barbecue outside. I just said, eat outside. You know, on Moon Festival, some people like to eat outside and barbecue with their friends. So on Moon Festival, it's a festival, and you look at the moon, and you eat outside. O-U-T-S-I-D-E, one word. Now, the moon doesn't dance. So we don't say watch the moon. We say look at the moon. Don't say see the moon say look at the moon we like to look at the moon now if they were playing games we would say watch watch the basketball players but for moon we're going to say look okay under moon festival i want you to write my birthday my birthday b-i-r-t-h-d-a-y now is that a celebration or a festival well it's not a festival because that means everybody will do it and not everybody will have a party on your birthday. So that is a celebration. So my birthday, then write celebration. Then what did you do on your birthday? Maybe you did nothing. You can write nothing. Some boys and girls don't have birthday parties. Some boys and girls don't care about their birthday. Or their parents think, oh, we don't care about that. We care about Chinese New Year's or we care about Dragon Boat Festival. So birthdays are not important. But some families have a birthday cake. So you can write, eat birthday cake. Maybe you have balloons. You can write, have balloons. Maybe you can write, go to a restaurant. Sometimes on your birthday, your mother will say, hey, I'll take you to a restaurant. And we can have steak or we can have pizza. Okay, so that's what you do on your birthday. All right, on page 140, let me look here, 143. The girl dancing, listen, I'll do this next time. I want to stop there, and in the next video, we'll worry about our vocabulary list. Remember I promised you we we're going to do more with the past tense? So in the next video, we'll do some writing in our writing books. If you don't have your writing book at home, just write on some paper and don't lose it. Okay, that's all for today. Bye-bye.